We are here today to welcome you to one of our favorite places. I am standing in the olive tree grove of Filoli House and Gardens in Woodside, California. It is a great place to visit any time of the year, but you're about to see why spring is our favorite. Welcome back to Traveling Cat Photos. I'm Cat. Let's go explore. Filoli is open every day from 10 to 5, but you do need to make online reservations. This is the visitor center, but there is a kiosk where you check in for now. I think that's just code of COVID protocols. General admission is $25. Seniors are $22. Students, teachers, and military are $20. And children five and older are $15. There are picnic tables if you choose to bring a picnic. The Quail's Nest Cafe doesn't take reservations and is first come first serve, but the food is delicious. And you can choose to sit inside the cafe or outside on the beautiful patio like we did. We have a tradition of eating at the Quail's Nest Cafe before going into the gardens. Today, it's a turkey wrap. This is COVID protocol food. They don't have a big selection right now. Normally, they have a wide selection of baked goods but and hot food, but right now, this sure looks good. Time for lunch. The story of William and Agnes Bourne started long before this beautiful house was made. They owned the Empire Gold Mine, the most profitable mine in California. In 1910, their daughter Maud was married in Ireland and they gave her as a wedding present, Muckross House. Over the next four or five years, before Filoli was constructed, they fell in love with Ireland with that area and with Muckross House. And when it came time to design Filoli, that's what they patterned it after. In 1915, construction began. In 1917, it continued and was opened. It is now 54,000 square feet and has 17 fireplaces. Let's go explore. Filoli was donated to the National Trust for Historic Preservation in 1975. The site is both a California historical landmark and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1921, William became ill and could never tra travel to Ireland again. So instead, the Bournes brought Ireland to William. All of the murals in this beautiful ballroom are of Muck Ross and the area. While the house was built for a family, the ballroom was built for entertaining. And entertaining they still do. There are grand Christmas, flower, and other holiday occasions right here in this gorgeous ballroom. Painting couch. Like Belle, I have always been a sucker for a library. Check out the one that the Bournes have. Originally, only the gardens opened to the public, and the home was largely empty or just used for storage. But over the years, the original furniture and artifacts were tracked down or donated back to Philoli. And now it is a nonprofit organization.
We walked back out the front door and turned left to walk around the side of the house and found this cute little RV. You can get a drink and settle back under the trees to enjoy the estate on the weekends. There's a mile-long nature trail through the estate, and maybe you'll find some of the deer. There are several gardens here at Filoli, including 14 acres of formal gardens. We're going to start you here by the house, walk through the sunken gardens, the walled gardens, and to the upper gardens, with the daffodil meadow and the working gardens, which include fruits and vegetables. We have been coming to Filoli for many years. There's always wonderful things to see here. And they plant it differently every year. This year they planted 86,000 bulbs. I'm going to insert a few pictures from past years so you can see the difference. One of the fun collections they have here at Filoli are their bonsai. There's even a wisteria bonsai that's over 200 years old here. And that's why they call it the sunken garden. The gardens have been featured in many films. This garden house was featured in The Wedding Planner. If you see the part of the movie where they are in the um, workout room having the hilarious contest, that was this garden room. The pool was added in 1946 as a rehabilitation aid for Mr. Roth. That's the family who took over after the Bournes, and they tried to integrate it into the landscape like it's always been here. These ewes, there's 210 of them on the property, were all from cuttings from muckross, along with some myrtle and some holly. All the flower arrangements. I love the fact they still let you hang out in here and enjoy the flowers. So I told you all about that 200 year old wisteria bonsai. It's in the garden room. The walled garden is my absolute favorite place in the gardens. And as you can see, most of the tulips haven't even bloomed yet. So the rest of April is going to be beautiful. Plan on visiting between the end of February to the end of April, but it's always gorgeous when the weeping cherries are in bloom. Comment below if you visited, which is your favorite part of the gardens. Remember to give us a thumbs up. YouTube loves to hear that you're having a good time. And please do subscribe so you can follow along with us on our travels.
As I mentioned, the English formal gardens of Filoli are planted differently every single year. And I gotta tell you, they never disappoint. The upper gardens are working gardens. Even the trees in the beautiful daffodil meadow are working trees. This is their orchard, full of pear, plum, and apple trees. This is the rose and topiary garden. In the fall, in October, these plants are full of roses. Another reason to come back. Okay, so the flower isn't much to look at right now. But this rose bush is my favorite because of its name. People would ask you what your roses were and you'd say, it's a secret. We hung out on a shady bench under this apple tree, overlooking the rose beds, watched the garden cat try to catch something, and enjoyed the views before heading back to the other side of the walled garden and to our favorite view of the day. After all of these years, it still amazes me when I learn something new about Filoli. This time, I learned that in 1924, after years of hopping the Atlantic to see her father, an estate located not too far from us in Monterey County was built in Pebble Beach for Maud and her children. Asilo de la Estrella, now known as Villa Eden Del Mar, was recently valued at over $35 million and has stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. One last look at the sunken garden. We head into our next favorite place and last stop, the clock tower store. If you saw something in the gardens you love, chances are you can buy it right here at the clock tower shop. The clock tower store is always my favorite during spring because of the bunnies. Check out all the cool, fun bunnies. I always take home little edible treats. One of these teas has my name on it. And one of these aiolis. Ah, which one to pick? Just for Kira. So we, of course, had a wonderful day at Filoli. We always do. We can't recommend it highly enough. It was a fun way to spend an early Mother's Day with my mother and see Filoli in the spring. I'm going to include a few extra photos of how beautiful this place is. And next time, we will head over to uh, Death Valley National Park and then to Joshua Tree National Park. So make sure to tune in for that. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed your tour of Filoli with us. Take care, safe travels, and we'll see you next time.